I forgot Socorro asked me to bring in her plant. Okay, it's inside the white dish. Now it's coming back inside. I also wanted to sneak a peek of my Christmas tree from the outside. There's something about that that I find romantic for some dumb reason. <laughs> really a dumb reason. I find that very lovely and that's okay. You see, I have to work on the way I talk to myself. I have to be kinder and I have to catch myself when I when I call my rituals or my whatever makes me happy dumb because it isn't. We all have what makes us happy and we just need to let it be. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Placing the flowers right there. Socorro told me I can place them anywhere in the house that I wanted. It's a mess over there. <laughs> and um, this morning, Socorro left to Portland with her uh, sister and her brother-in-law. And their kids left some candy and some change. <laughs> The Christmas mug is dirty, so I'm going to use the next Christmassy thing that we have here. That kind of matches my pajamas. <laughs> I'm going to have some tea from the English tea shop. White tea, blueberry, and elderflower. Juicy blueberry, sweet elderflowers, zesty lemongrass, and naturally sweet white tea create a divinely delicious cup of, cup of tea. Oh, it comes in this like fancy triangular bag. Now there's a decent name for the shape that I I don't remember from geometry. <laughs> Just gonna do that. Let's have one of these as well. Let's turn this holiday spice cake candle on. It's another gift from one of my students. So since I'm gonna have a Rice Krispie treat, I'm not going to put any sugar on this tea. I'm just gonna have it all natural. That smell is divine. It kind of reminds me of a tea that my brother and sister made for me once when we went to visit my father. We were younger and we were, I think it was like the summertime and we were visiting my dad and they found these leaves outside my grandma's house and they were like, it's like lemon tea leaves or whatever. And then they made me some and I was just like, oh, I was sold. That's what that smell reminds me of. Hopefully that's what it tastes like. There you go. That's the taste. And this is why I didn't want to put sugar in my tea. Because that Rice Krispie is a little, it's sweet on sweet. I need more of this tea. So, I am sitting in front of my Christmas tree, speaking as quietly as I can. Tony, Stella, and Frank are all asleep, and I'm enjoying a nice cup of tea Christmas tree is still on, but I turn on the light because I need light. It's too weird. I have Stella's blankie that she got from her tia Tania for Christmas. Uh, you want to uh, open it? Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh. What's in there? Oh, go get it. 
Wow! Oh my God, Stella! What is that? What is that, Mama? Oh my God! Mira el otro chismoso. Oh wow! Mira, Stella. Mira. Wow! Now she's like out of it. She wants to open the other ones. <laughs> no, it's not time, young lady. And this is why my videos take forever. Okay, so I don't usually like to focus on negative things. I need a sip from my tea. Okay. I don't usually like to focus on negative things, but and I don't plan on focusing on anything too negative today. But I do want to have a discussion, especially of Stella and Abraham, which is my future son, <laughs> or any other child I may have, is listening. <sighs> I want to talk about toxic people. Tony's cousin gave me this awesome book called Who's in Your Room? And she left, I, I noticed this really cute note on the inside. Let me read you some of it. A little something to remind us that when we were little, we had no choice but now we decide who has the privilege of being a part of our circle. Love you. Celia is Stella's godmother or will be her godmother next year. Okay, so let's talk about toxic people. This, and this is not going to be an easy conversation to have. And you might not hear what you want to hear. Because I know what you want to hear is... It's not your fault. It's everybody else's fault. Or it's not, you have nothing to do with this. Um, or you're free of, of blame here. And unfortunately, you are the one to blame. You're the one in the center. And um, it's not like, it's your fault. You did this. You brought this upon yourself. But you kind of did. And let me explain why. Okay. And I'm going to use an example. I have a few relatives, and I'm sure you'll get to know them at some point, that are not the kindest people. And they have sometimes hurt my feelings in the past, very recently, in fact. <laughs> and, um, and sometimes when you're around people that don't make you feel good, there are different negative emotions that stir in within you. There's fear of not being accepted. There's a sadness of being rejected. There's a anger almost of not understanding this frustration of trying your hardest to make things work with people and then just having that backfire. And that's valid because we're human beings and we're allowed to feel these feelings and they're understandable under the circumstances. And there are people who you will never... Um, get along with and there are people who are just never gonna like you and and that's okay We don't hear that a lot, but it's okay It's okay for people not to like you and it's okay for you not to like other people. It's We are not gonna get along with everybody in the world and we just need to come to grips with that now Now that we have established that um, Let's move on to the second step Yes, you're allowed to cry. You're allowed to get upset you're allowed to feel the feelings that you feel. You have a right to them. But then you need to become aware of them. You need to acknowledge it. And rather than saying, oh, these feelings are bad. I shouldn't feel these things. Or there must be something wrong with me or something wrong with them that, that, that this energy exists. And that's where you're wrong. It's good when you're mad. It's good when you're sad. Uh, I mean, it's not good to stay there. Don't get me wrong. Don't stay there. As soon as you can move forward, move forward. But it's good to feel these. You see, these emotions, they are our indicators, kind of like our, our emotional compass, if you will, to lead us in the right direction. If something's making you feel bad, then you know that you're far away from where you want to be. And you know that there's that there needs to be some kind of change. Otherwise, 
like myself, you would be too comfortable in the situation and you won't do anything about a discomfort of yours because you don't want to upset anyone and you don't want to, um, you know, end up on the wrong side of anybody's, you know, you just don't want to end up on wrong terms with anybody. Now, let's talk about moving forward. There are many ways to do this. You could cut ties with the people that upset you. You could continue pretending like it doesn't upset you. Or you could accept the fact that you're upset. Accept the fact that things aren't perfect, that you aren't perfect, that they aren't perfect, the people, the situations you find yourself in. Accept them. And then if you can't find yourself moving forward in a positive way, then back away and don't be around these people. And this is kind of like my rule. If they are someone who's hurt you once, maybe twice, but mainly just once without meaning to, and you've worked it out and it, you know, you can move forward, then be around that person still. Invite those people into your life. Give them the privilege to know you as a friend or insert relationship there. However, if there's a pattern Pay close attention to the word pattern of someone who repeatedly hurts you purposefully. Then maybe it's a sign that this individual does not belong in your circle. <laughs> maybe this person doesn't belong around you and that's okay. But I also want to caution you on something else. I know so many cautions. You can't live your life cutting people out out of it you know you can't say okay well i don't like this about you i'm cutting you out of my life i don't like, like that about you so i'm cutting you out of my life um goodbye relatives goodbye friends goodbye marriages i mean you you get into this habit of cutting people out of your life and that's also something to be careful about because it just so happens that you're going to end up in the same relationships in the same situations over and over and over again and that's because of something very important your vibe attracts your tribe and what i mean by that is that however you feel and think on the inside is what you're going to project on the outside and it's almost like you're sending a signal to the world and whoever is in tune in that frequency will be attracted to you that is to say if you're a person who's constantly thinking positively and kindly then you're going to be emitting that signal if you will and you're going to be vibing at a high frequency and only people who are vibing at that frequency and are thinking that way will feel attracted to you and you will feel attracted to them and most likely you're going to get along there will be peace with people like that and i'm not saying that you're not going to attract a negative person in there or two because it happens but most likely you're you're not going to stay attracted to each other. There's, it won't work out. But the opposite is also true. If you're constantly thinking badly about people and you're justifying that they deserve this because they're mean or they're bad or you're focusing on all the things that they've done to you, then you are vibing at a very low frequency and you're emitting a negative signal. And guess who's going to be attracted to you? Negative people. So because of that, when toxic people are around you or you find yourself in the situations with so much toxicity around you, that is why it is, I don't want to say fault. Fault is such a harsh word, but you are responsible. That's a better word. You're responsible for that. And it, I mean, that responsibility shouldn't scare you. It should actually thrill you because that means that you also have the choice and you have the power to switch that up now let's go back to my relatives but first some more tea 
<laughs> as you can see it's not easy it's not easy so I have a few relatives who have recently hurt me and I want to think that it was not on purpose I want to think that they maybe they just didn't realize that they were hurting me I know I know I just want to give them the benefit of the doubt okay but they really hurt me and it's not the first time they've hurt me it's happened in the past and this time however what was different about it is that it was so public imagine me being insulted and hurt and then trying to be a big girl about it and just like <sighs> breathing in and out and just kind of saying it's okay it's okay this moment is going to pass and then I was I found myself like in the middle of so much um, kind of indifference let's call it indifference by these individuals and then I receive a phone call and this phone call is such a huge contrast to what I'm getting in the room I'm receiving like a, kind of like a rejection in the room but in this phone call I'm receiving so much love and so much just appreciation for me and the contrast made me very sensitive and I started to cry and people around me noticed and that was very very uncomfortable for me to be so openly vulnerable and it took me a long time to kind of get out of that space it, in fact it was with the help of people who really loved me and who were there and who noticed what a hard time I was having and who helped me switch the night around I ended up having a pretty lovely night because of them and because of my ability to again feel the emotion I was feeling recognize it acknowledge it accept it and then just like move on let it go and I even took it further that I'm realizing and accepting that my vibes are attracting this behavior like I'm constantly thinking about them as these like mean hurtful people and of course because of that I'm only going to see that side of them and I'm only going to get more of that and so I've decided and, that, and it's been working very well to only think of the best side of them whenever I think of them I'm sending them love and I'm imagining all the good things they've done and the smiling that they've done and the I mean everything positive about them and I'm staying away and I'm hoping and and that's already I've already seen it where the only times I've come into contact with them after this experience it has only been when they are vibing high and they're being loving and so my advice to you is to be more loving to be more positive and only focus on the good in people and i know that you can do it okay well this is the end of my video i just want to let you know that i love you i'm about to go to sleep now and i hope that this crazy rant was helpful and I just want you to know that you're worthy and there's nothing wrong with you. You're wonderful just the way you are. And so is everybody else. Mwah.